Greetings, Terrarians, Chaos here. We're back on the pylon theme building world and we've completed housing for the underground, forest, ocean, desert, snow, and jungle pylons. That leaves three pylons remaining and today we'll be building themed houses for the mushroom pylon. If you're new to the series and you'd like to check out any of the older builds, you will find a link to that playlist at the end of this video or it'll also be linked in the description below. And if you enjoy this series or any of the other content that comes from my channel, please consider subscribing. We are well on the way to the next milestone of 300,000 subscribers and I'm hoping we'll reach that goal by mid-June. At this point in the series, you're well aware of what a pylon is and how they work. The mushroom variant is purchased from a happy NPC living within a glowing mushroom biome. The truffle is the only town NPC that loves living in the mushroom biome, so if you pair him with the guide, which is his favorite NPC neighbor, you will be able to purchase this pylon very easily. You can get it before then, however, because the glowing mushroom biome can be built on the surface at any time, and you can move NPCs in there and make them happy. You don't need to wait to hard mode. But if you do use the truffle, avoid moving the clavier or witch doctor nearby, because they will make him unhappy. And keep in mind that the truffle will only move into a valid house within a surface mushroom biome, so you cannot move him underground. For today's build, I'm going to go back to the nostalgia of my youth and build something inspired by one of my favorite games as a kid, The Elder Scrolls III Morrowind. In it, there are a race of beings called Dark Elves, which are broken up into different factions or houses, each with their own distinct style of architecture. The style of buildings of the Telvanni always caught my eye and struck me as inspirational. They are houses that are carved into massive mushrooms grown via magic, and this is the style of building that I'm going to attempt to achieve today. I know it doesn't closely match the truffle NPC as these mushrooms will be primarily brown and the truffle is blue, but it's something that I have always wanted to try building in Terraria, and this presents the perfect opportunity. To start off with, we are going to need to achieve a mushroom biome on the surface. Now, I need to get the bare minimum amount of gra mushroom grass seeds to get the truffle to move in, and that's going to be 100 of them. I don't want to go overboard with this, however, because I'm not looking to get the really dark bluish hue that we get with the glowing mushroom biome when you go beyond that. So technically speaking, we currently have the glowing mushroom biome. You can see that in the background when we're in the middle of the house or well, where the house will be right around here. If we were to keep adding mushrooms, it would also make this area darker and darker and darker as we go along. And that's not what we want. See, you see that shift to this dark blue? I'm not after that. That will really take away from the build that I'm trying to achieve. So I'm going to leave this at exactly 100 glowing mushroom in order to uh, get the background and make it valid for the truffle to move in, but without making it so dark. And to kind of hide the bluish grass away, I'm considering painting it brown. I'm not entirely sure how that's gonna look and we can test it out right now. It's, it's not terrible. It's not amazing. Um, other options are that I could hide this underground, bits of grass. I don't know. There are various different things that we could work around with to try and hide this mushroom grass into the build itself without leaving this blue color. Oftentimes, when I saw these mushroom houses in the various different Elder Scrolls games, they would be growing on top of stone ruins or large boulders. And while I'm not trying to directly copy any of the buildings, I am drawing a lot of inspiration from them, and I want to try and get several elements from those into today's build. So I'm going to be placing this large mushroom on top of a big rock. The rock itself can serve as one of the two required NPC houses, and the mushroom can fulfill the other. The boulder is a very straightforward blend of stone with brown moss, gray painted sand, and gray painted sandstone, while the background walls are gray painted craggy and mottled stone wall. So here we have the stone structure that will house the 
first NPC house. The second one will be inside of a large mushroom, which will be growing on top. I might do a little bit more stonework over here to the side and then maybe outside of the house once everything is said and done. But I want to work on the interior here. I don't want it to look entirely like a cave while I'm okay with having some cave sections. But one thing that I do want to do is grab some of the columns that I have and we're going to just place these right here and right there. Now this is going to act as the ladder to get up into the mushroom, into the uh, upper floors and what have you. I had considered putting it dead center here, but I want to add a window to this rocky area. And I feel like if this was dead center, it wouldn't work as good with the window. So I'm going to get rid of those. I'm going to break that. And we're going to have a ladder coming through here. All right, so for the interior walls, I've got a bunch of different resources here, like planked walls, and I'm going to mess around with different kinds of varieties to the walls until I'm happy with them. I'm not sure exactly what that's going to look like just yet, but let's see what I come up with. All right, that didn't take a whole lot of time. I'm pretty happy with this actually, although I have a little bit of a disconnect here um, with my style. It looks like I went and varied it a little bit. Let me get rid of these actuators and let me fix this little bit of uh, bamboo right here, right there. There we go. Now it's all unison, all looking good. Uh, yeah, I'm I'm rather happy with this. This is going to make getting furniture in here a little bit difficult, but I believe if we stick with workbenches and chairs, we shouldn't have too much of a problem. Um, so I decided to go with the spider set for this. It's a little unconventional. It's something I've not worked with before in a build, but I feel like it fits the color scheme of Telvani houses very well. So I think it's a perfect complement to this. And then in terms of lighting, I actually went with pumpkins because again, it's something that I haven't worked with a whole lot, but it does fit the color scheme of the uh, source material that I'm using. So I feel like also a very good fit for this. Now, one thing that is a bit different um, is when I normally make these grates, you could see through them, I have glass in the background, but in this older game, it's got one of those systems where you have to render in, you have to go through a loading screen every time you enter a building or leave a building. So whenever you look to a window, you can't actually see inside of it or outside of it. It's always just whiteness or blackness. And in these particular houses, it was always like orangish yellow. Uh, whenever they did have a window so i thought i would bring that into the design here and i might do another one up here in another rock section that we can't actually get to it's just like giving the build a little bit of depth make it seem like there's rooms that we don't have access to um, i'm not quite happy with how orange these are because uh the the light sources in the uh in the original were quite orange so i may paint these a little bit here and let's just take a look yeah that's that's looking a lot better i might actually just use orange paint all the way around instead of brown paint on the vine yeah that's matching 
the window color a lot more and I'm very happy with it. Okay, yeah, we're gonna go with that uh, for the light sources. So up next, I need to work on doing this additional rock face because I've decided I actually want it uh, with another window in there just to give more depth to the build. And then I'm gonna start building the gigantic mushroom stock. I had to pause the recording there because I really needed to experiment around with materials for the cap of the mushroom. I wanted something to be relatively dark brown and have a rough texture to it. And I went through a lot of different things. Um, I tried marble. It would look good if it was actuated, but if it was actuated, I couldn't use it in the building. I tried granite. I tried uh, fossil. Uh, and ultimately, I settled on lesion block, and I'm very happy with this. So I'm just going to quickly throw together the rough shape of the cap. I might adjust it as we go. I just want to get the rough shape going. With this well enough done, I'm going to start thinking about how I want to texturize the inside of the mushroom. Now, if I recall correctly, they had a very web like pattern for the inside of their wall. So I was thinking if we combine solar brick wall with spider nest wall, we can get something pretty similar to that webbing pattern um, and with a similar coloration, I think and have it look pretty decent. I might try and mix around bits of stone and brick here and there, just so it's not webbing the entire way through. But let's just take a, a quick look. Yeah, I, I'm gonna be pretty happy with that. I'm gonna be happy with that. Um, I don't know if I'm gonna do that the whole way through or have it in bits and pieces. I'm not entirely sure, but another thing that I want to do is actually out here. I was giving this quite a bit of thought and I think I'm gonna do one more section of stone and maybe have three or two smaller mushrooms sprouting on top of that. And this is going to be like a little magical area where it's got uh, a crafting station, like the enchanting station, the alchemy station, and it's going to also be where the pylon is. So everything over here is kind of brown and gray and not very blue and magical but inside of this small magic area i think will be the perfect place for the pylon and in order to do that just to add an extra bit of stone i'm just going to take the model stone and craggy stone wall that we already have and i'm going to kind of expand this out a little bit further and then i'm going to make a hole so we could see air through it but make it look like this here is a pillar holding up another rock formation. I'm really liking how everything is coming together. A few things left to do though. I need to do decoration and I might even have two rooms up here, though I don't know if this will end up being a valid room. There will be a bed in there at least. And then I need to do the little magic area uh, with the actual pylon itself, but I also want to extend this brown painted clay out to the side and make this look a little bit more barren than it is. I might have bits of stone with the brown moss on it, and that'll be the quote unquote grass in the area but I don't want it to be so lush and green. And then obviously I need to get the glowing mushroom biome into the background. Now, how I've decided to do bits and pieces of this will be partly in this room. There's going to be some glowing mushroom growing across the cave, maybe a little bit in the background and on the floor and stuff like that. But we're also going to put specks of it underground. So the next time you guys see this build, it's probably gonna be done. Looks like we only have two pylons left, which means the next video will be the hollow pylon. 
And that means we could take a look at the final build right now. Now, I want to apologize if I sound a little bit off. I've been told by some friends that my audio sounds a little bit funky today. And I've been going and looking at my equipment and it looks like there's an issue with my mixer, um, which, yay, more technical problems. But I think it's tolerable enough. I do apologize if there's any weirdness in the next few videos. I've ordered a new mixer again and it should be here within a week. But I'm sorry about that if I do sound weird to you all. Now, uh, this build, I'm very happy with it. I'm using a bunch of different materials. I don't normally work with spider wall, uh, solar brick walls, spider furniture, uh, lesion block, just a bunch of stuff that I don't use often, pumpkin lightings. And I love the color palette, the way it turned out, a bunch of orange and red and browns. I'm very happy with this. And we did have to hide away a whole bunch of mushroom grass down in the floor just to make this an actual mushroom biome so that the pylon would work and the NPC would move in. Let me know in the comments what you all think and let me know what you think I should do for the hello pylon. I have an idea in mind, but I'm curious what you guys think as well. The next video should be TerraCore episode 8, so keep an eye out for that. For now, thank you all very much for watching. I'll catch you all later. Happy building.